Chapter three, the embrace of community. That rhymes. I see what she did there. Anyhow, community is the spirit, the guiding light of the tribe, whereby people come together in order to fulfill a specific purpose, to help others fulfill their purpose and to take care of one another. The goal of the community is to make sure that each member of the community is heard and is properly given the gifts he has brought to this world. Without this giving, the community dies. And without the community, the individual is left without a place where he can contribute. The community that is, the community is that grounding place where people come and share their gifts and receive from others. When you don't have community, you are listed, you are not listened to. You don't have a place where you can go and that you feel you really belong. You don't have people to affirm, affirm who you are and to support you in bringing forward your gifts. This disempowers the psyche, making you vulnerable to consumerism and all the things that come along with it. Also, it leaves many people who have wonderful contributions to make holding back their gifts, not knowing where to put them and without the unfolding of our gifts. We experience a blockage inside, which affects us spiritually, mentally, physically, in many ways, I mean, in, in many different ways. We are left without a home to go when we, uh, when we need to be seen. One of the principles of the Dara, of the da gara concept of a relationship is that it is not private. When we talk about our relationship in the in the village, the word the word are is not limited to two, and this is why we find it pretty hard to live a relationship in a modern culture that is lacking. True community. In the absence of community, two people are forced to say, this relationship is ours. In fact, a community should be claiming ownership. The absence of a true community leaves a couple totally responsible for themselves and anything else around them. It narrows down their ways of getting needs met so that their relationship becomes their community their relationship becomes their community. How many times have we seen that? And if it is not able to fulfill this role, then the individuals begin to feel like a failure. It affects the psyche so dramatically that they feel there is no place for them. What they thought was their support group, their partnership, is unable to satisfy their needs. I would love to keep reading, but I'm gonna stop right here. This chapter that I'm reading is from the book, The Spirit of Intimacy, Ancient African Teachings and the Ways of Relationships by So Bonfu Some. I hope I didn't butcher that. But um, yeah, this, this book is great because intimacy is something that is very important. It, um, I, just, I just would love to read uh, a passage from the, another passage from this book to define intimacy. And this is the chapter two, a song of spirit. Intimacy in general terms is a song of spirit, inviting two people to come and share their spirit together. It is a song that no one can resist. We, can, we hear it while awake or sleeping, in community or alone. We cannot ignore it. I think that is so beautiful because Community is very important for the psyche. Um, literally everything I want to say was said in here, but I just realized that this is um, this book is coming from African culture, and I think all ancient and all ancient cultures exhibited this type of community, even here in America. We can say that Western society doesn't honor community but that's not completely true especially not as for the indigenous people 
who come from this land. Community was important. And we see that all throughout different stories of different tribes. But I, I think this um, has been one of my most favorite chapters as I'm reading through this book. I have not finished this chapter yet, but I just think it's so important because everything has been so individualized in modern US society. And we've, made, we've been made to make everything private. You know, if we were able to experience relationships in a community where things were more open, I think we would see a lot more um, benefits because I have friends who come from different cultures, various different cultures like uh, Vietnam, Peru, Nigeria, Somalia, um, uh, Jamaica. Um, I mean, there's a lot, even like Moroccan and all these cool places, right? And I see the way that these people, Ethiopian, I see the way that these people help one another out. Many of my friends, they actually live in homes that have more than just a couple or nuclear family or uh, family structure. A lot of the Somalian people that I know, they all have like one credit card that their whole family shares, like anyone who's in that household. And it's very helpful, you know, it allows them to live more freely and without stress. Not without stress, but less stress, because it can be stressful living here um, as we are going through this shift. But yeah, I just wanted to share that chapter because I think it's important that we know that we have a community. And if you feel that you don't, it's important to find that, even if it just starts with one person. And all of us have the ability to connect with at least one person. And sometimes it has to be online, you know, because that seems to be where we find we, we are able to narrow out those people who we relate most closely to so yeah community is big i'm going to expound on this but this video is getting kind of long so um yeah it's something to ponder on i would like to hear your um feedback on do you think relationships should be private or do you think they should be community-based I see a lot of benefits of having community-based relationships. I know whenever I'm in um, the more, say, intimate relationships, I usually include many outsiders in asking them for advice or asking them for um, just like uh, encouragement or their thoughts or their experiences. It helps me so much to understand um, what intimacy is, which is not sexual in its nature at all. It's, it's a dance of the spirit. And so, yeah, I think it's important to involve other minds so that we don't have to try to figure things out on our own. Otherwise, there would be no reason that people came before us or that we have other people to connect with, learn, with, learn from, and grow with. Um... Yeah, I think it's important that we consider that we aren't alone, especially in a time like this, where many people have been isolated to deal with their shadow and those things that we want to keep hidden. You know, it's just time to um, bring them to the light, you know, and understand that there's power in community, especially amongst those who look like you. And their abilities for you to expound outside of that once you develop that um, relationship with your kin folk, you know? Yeah. So stay tuned. I'll be back.